Welcome to my shop. I'm Mike Head, and this is Round Two Woodworks. Uh, I do appreciate you stopping by. Uh, if you saw my last video, you saw my resaw fail. So I decided to resaw the resaw, and I'm going to use this babing on the table. So before I can mate these with the legs, I'm uh, squaring up the corners. And then I've got a, a, a standard depth on um, on my uh, router plane. I'm telling you, if, if you don't have one of these, these things can really come in handy. I I've got a cabinet full of hand planes from two to ten and five or six more, and this one's like number three, or actually number two, because my five and my four. Our number one that I use but I use those usually together and then this one so I'm cleaning up the, the, these legs making them all the same depth I got to do that and uh, one one thing uh, I might suggest if you ever do taper legs save these pieces because they'll come in handy on several occasions to, to help you keep everything square in, in, in the vise so uh, I've got to cut these to length, you know, to, to, to final length, and then I'm going to put a, 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 a dado on it, and I'm going to use my, uh, it, it'll be a tenon day, dado, I'm going to use my uh, uh, Freud super dado on the table saw to take this down, and then I'll hand saw one end off for the, to, to be used as the tenon. So, I've got uh, most everything uh, hogged down on the inside where it's going to be on the inside so that's going to be good enough and then I'll get my smoother out and really sharpen it up and glam up the outside before I put it together so I'm going to do this and um, uh, we'll go from there Okay, uh, to cut these things to length, I'm I'm using my Encra miter miter sled. Uh, it's got this uh, shop stop at the end uh, for exact cut on all the pieces, and uh, I, I use the Encra over the the sled just because it's so it's the most accurate thing I have. So that's what I'm going to be using, and let's get on with this. Okay, now I'm going to make the uh, tenons on the ends of the babinga to fit into the maple legs. Uh, so I've got, uh, as you can see, I've got my sacrificial fence up so my dado blade doesn't hurt my Bessemeyer. I've got, uh, I'm just using my regular uh, miter sled and of course I've got my uh, OSHA approved uh, outfeed table. So let's uh, let's cut this and see where we go.
spacing this way is the depth of the, the uh, tenon. And then the height this way is the depth of the tenon this way. So the sled moves it this way and the height moves it th this way here. That's how it works. Okay, what I'm doing now is I'm, uh, I've just cleaned up the inside of the mortise. Now I've got to cut the tenon. So the way I like to do it is I like to put it down there and just clink. And then I like to put it like this. Like that. Then I'll square it over. Like that. Okay. What I like to do is I like to leave the line and then uh, clean it up with a chisel. See how that works. Uh, suggestion. I don't know if you can see that. Left rear. Left rear. That's what it'll look like. Got uh, it's a little hot, proud, so I got to take a little more off. You better take a little more off of that. Let's try that. Think that'll work? Think that'll work. Now, I'll do the, uh, the right front. This is the right rear, or the left rear, so I'll do the left front. And then I will glue it up like I did the other side. Uh, I've just used my uh, Jorgensen's as you can see and uh, my Bessie's. Now those are a couple of uh, clamps. I, unless they came with the shop that I bought, you know, I probably would have never bought them because they were so expensive, but boy, there's some things that are just worth it. And this Jorgensen and this Bessie certainly are. So I'll let this all dry. I'll get the other side done and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, before I uh, glue the aprons to these, these legs, this piece has a bad inclusion or spalding or whatever. Now what I did is I put some uh, uh, epoxy in there and let it dry and uh, I noticed that it didn't seep in all the way so it looks like I'm gonna have to do it on this side too I was watching uh, Scott Phillips over on the American Woodworker and he stabilized something like this so 
when I cut it I knew it was the plug had it in there but I'd rather have it down on this end than up on on this end and I've still got it bad enough up on this end so this this leg isn't a very nice one so hopefully this will add character when I'm done I'll, I'll say it will so we'll we'll go from there I'll mix this up and uh, let this dry overnight and scrape it off with a scraper tomorrow okay what we got is two table sides inside or outside and inside right and left I uh, where is it yeah right there I've tried to stabilize that imperfection you might call it so now we're ready for the rails or the the front aprons and the rear aprons now I'm making this table out of my mind's eye and sometimes my mind's eye is blinder than a bat but sometimes it's kind of fun so I've never made a, a, a side table before I've made drawers before and I've installed drawers before and everything but I want to do a drawer on this side table it's going to be a small drawer so the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to use this and I'm going to cut the drawer front out <laughs> I don't know if this is the way it's supposed to be done or if it's the wrong way to do it or what but I'm doing it this way what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut an inch off right here off the top and then I'm going to cut this right here so this will be the drawer this will be glued back on this is an eighth inch wider than all the others so when I cut make my curve for cut my my rip uh, when I glue it back together it should it should come out even with the others so let's get cutting this and we'll see where it goes from there Okay, this is how it's going to go. I got the top piece cut. I'm going to glue this piece to it and this piece to it. And then this will be the drawer. Now, <laughs> the kerf on, I put the, uh, the thinnest kerf I have. It's, it's under an eighth of an inch, over a sixteenth of an inch, the kerf. So, I'm going to have to see, I, I may line this drawer, I'm, I, I'm not sure, you know, as I say, I don't have a plan, but uh, the plan right now is to glue these together as precise as I can, and then uh, glue these to the legs and see if it looks like a table. I'm going to have to treat this real gentle because one side just has this much strength so I'll have to clamp it by using a clamp from here to the leg not from here or something so I'm, I'm anxious to see how this is going to come out I, I as I say this is a first time for me so without a plan this is uh, getting pretty good let's glue it up
rear apron and uh, front apron. Drawer will go right here. If I don't s s mind saying so myself or however that saying goes, I can hardly tell that it was ever even song. But if I didn't know I did it, I wouldn't know I did it. So, so far so good. Let's, uh, let's start gluing this puppy up and see if we can get it square. Okay, I think I've got everything ready, all the tools out that I need to glue this thing up, the aprons up, and to make this thing a base. I've got some squaring tools and some clamps and some more squaring tools. The glue, of course, safety equipment. That little plane there is a 103. It's it's a nice little plane. I keep it in my my apron most of the time, but it's it's very good for uh, taking off the sharp edges of a corner, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to do a chamfer. I'm just going to take, and I'm not even going to round it. I'm just going to take that sharp edge off. So let's get down to this and see how it goes. As I say, I'm just uh, going to take uh, just a little of the sharpness off of the edge of the You know, uh, nice sharp planes are well, they are really good to have. All right, I got the table all uh, glued up, squared up, and uh, clamped up. So I'll just let it sit overnight, and it'll be ready for some supports in the uh, in the corners. So pretty good day. Can't complain about it at all. It's coming along good, and. Uh, Tomorrow uh, we'll we'll see what happens then. By golly, I think it's starting to look like a look like a table. And I was I don't mind telling you I was kind of a little surprised that when I put it on my table saw, which is the flattest thing I have in my garage, I mean it it doesn't doesn't rock an inch. I mean it's solid solid as can be, and. Uh, I have to, I guess I have to say that that's all due to uh, taking a little more time to make every, uh, sure everything is, is plumb level and square. Um, it paid off. You know, it took me, as I say, a little time, but it paid off. As my dad used to say, plumb, le plumb level and square, you're almost there. So we're almost there. Um, I think it's uh, right so far I'm really happy with it. I'm going to have to put some uh, supports uh, in the corners uh, to, to you know secure the tabletop down to. Uh, that'll be the next thing and then uh, we're on to the top. Oh the top. <laughs> Okay, now to 45 degrees the ends.
Okay, now there all there is is to free drill the holes for the screws to hold these brackets on and we can uh, secure this thing up. these holes you know they'll be like this and the screw will go up through it I'm making these a little bit bigger than the screws that I'm gonna hold the table tabletop down just to give it some uh, movement so it doesn't crack it or whatever so that's where we are right now YouTube <laughs> this vid was made to uh, mate uh, aprons to the legs and uh, I gotta say so far I'm pretty happy with my mind's eye I think it's got 2020 so far but the project's not done yet so I've got uh, the uh, supports ready for the top so the top is next or the drawer is next. Um, I'll probably work on the drawer next and then the top because I'll have room to, to work in here. So anyway, YouTube, thanks a lot. I appreciate you stopping by and see how this little project's going. And until next time, I wish you well and I ask you to take care of yourself.